Hello guys, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the patch notes, or one specific patch note in particular, that really, really rustled my jimmies, to say the least. And that was the patch note that they fixed an issue where the Omni Oculus Hunter exotic was clipping through the Firmios cloak. I don't know how you enunciate it, but like... <sighs> anyway, to express my frustration, it... it... I... I can't believe that that is something like, okay, so like for things to get changed, right? It has to, you know, get approved. And the fact that I didn't even know that was a thing, you know, like I, I feel like it, it's almost kind of a slap in the face and maybe I'm, I'm taking it too personally. Like it's not that deep, but maybe it is. I, I just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that like people on Twitter are going crazy. There's no way, there's literally no way that the Bungie devs do not know. You know, there's no way that they haven't seen people complaining about Omni Oculus and there's no way that they haven't seen it used in, you know, the way that people normally use it in PvP, you know. I can't believe that it is something that has happened. I think perhaps the reason we haven't got a nerf for Omni Oculus is maybe they're testing nerfs and they don't really want to say what they're thinking and what they plan to do because they, I don't know, they just want to keep that in-house given how things have been. But oh, it's it's a really rough time right now. The lack of communication they've been like displaying and I understand because they get, some of them get attacked for it, <clears throat> which unfortunately is the way that it is right now. But I don't know, I, I thought in this video i could express or communicate some ways that i think you could effectively nerf omni oculus because it is something that needs to be nerfed amongst other things in the sandbox it is a very very big problem and i hope pray like they they did some work on it we know they they're like looking at omni oculus they literally just changed an issue with the clipping so we know that they're looking at it like there's no way they're not because they literally fixed something with it but it was just a visual like thing which is like <laughs> i mean i'm happy i guess like it's good it's a good quality of life change right like it's very i think it's good to be doing changes like that like to be doing these like little minor changes where it's like oh this thing for example the chess piece that i use you know now there's you can't see through it you know now there's no clipping those are good changes to make but after you've done all of the like substantial like major changes which i mean my god we haven't got anything you know, and and they were gonna nerf last word and they nerfed last word supposedly but now it's better than it was before and there's just so much but anyway to get into the way that i think the couple of ways because there's a couple of ways you could nerf omni oculus i think the one way that i think would be the most effective is to remove damage resistance in pvp specifically make it so damage resist is only against combatants or something like that make it so you don't get as much melee energy back when you make your teammates in this so like instead of needing to make two people in viz to get a smoke bomb back all the way you need to make four and you get about half the energy and even if that's the case you're still going to get it back fairly often if you have 10 uh strength which you should i think I think having 10 strengths is def definitely the move. And then there's other other ways they can come at nerfing Omni Oculus because Omni Oculus obviously is good because of invis. So what they could do is they could make it so with Omni Oculus in particular with that exotic, um, no matter what you're using, like the, no matter what your fragments are, what your teammates fragments are, you're capped at a five second. Like you're only invis for five seconds. That actually, I haven't thought of that up until now, but that actually could be a very good fix. Especially if they remove the damage resist, like that would be amazing, actually, because, you know, you, I mean, you're not going to be able to run around and roam as much as you would be normally. And that's kind of what's so strong about it, is you throw it down, and then you're in Viz for like nine seconds. And you can kind of roam around, get angles, get flanks, and you wouldn't be able to really do that. And, which could be a, uh, a good change. Like, I don't know, like I said, once again, that, that is the thing about Omni, is... It is, the, what makes it so good is the invis, right? So you can attack invis and that will inadvertently affect Omni Oculus as well. And perhaps invis needs some nerfs uh, overall, which I, I kind of think it does. They could make it so invis never takes you off radar. It's just a visual thing, which still can be confusing. Like invis still can be confusing. It just wouldn't be as strong, but they could also make it so only have one smoke bomb. I don't know. They, they, I think the most effective nerf, like I said, would be to make it so there is no damage resist in PvP and you lower the amount of melee energy that you get uh, as a whole from Omni Oculus. I think that would be the most effective nerf to it. And I hope they're playtesting this, because this is not something I feel that should have taken this long. Or I mean, we haven't even got the, the nerf to it yet. I hope 
that like we get something about it either this week in the TWAB or next week or like <sighs> God, just anything, man. I'm like on my hands and knees begging to, to God, to any higher being, anything, just literally any higher being, any alien life forms that just anything, man, like, please say something. God, like, yeah, people will be happy if you say something. Like, I can't think of anyone that is going to be upset if you nerf Amiyagi on some PvP, because I don't think anyone likes it. I think casuals and hardcore players alike dislike the exotic very, very much. So, it's, they dislike the way that it is implemented in the meta, or the way that it, like, thrives, and uh, I, I just think it's a severe issue. Or, I am going to be very happy the day that it's nerfed. And I think a lot of people will be, so. I, I hope, once again, that Bungie is looking at nerfing this, and I feel like I say every week, they're going to say it this week. They're going to say it this week. They're going to say it this week. And they, they haven't said it. I guarantee this week is probably going to be something about the Solstice, but I'm hoping that they, like, fit something in there with, like, exotic armor changes or armor changes. But I'm hoping. But realistically, I don't expect it. I'm hoping that they push out another patch with Arc 3.0 in Season 18. I'm hoping. Like, really, really praying to sweet baby Jesus because perhaps they won't and they think Arc 3.0 will kind of counter the meta right now, which it might. I mean, depending on how strong the chaining is, but I just don't see that happening. I'm just really concerned for the game and the quality of, like, PvP because, quite frankly, it's not too fun right now. And you, you'll definitely, like, you can ask any PvP content creator, like, playing Trials and in-game PvP is not that fun. And one of the biggest issues is the meta. And the meta, you know, there's some things that severely need to change. So, anyway, we'll make that the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoy commentaries like this, please make sure to let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions or any suggestions about how it should be, Amiyaka should be nerfed that I haven't thought about or didn't bring up in this video, please make sure to bring them to my attention because, you know, I you know there's plenty of times where there's things I haven't thought about. I'm not, you know, I'm not an all-seeing, all-known being. I'm just a human. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed and want to keep up to date with what's going on with me, please make sure to go check out my Twitter at 2 Fizzle. And if you want more content of mine, go check out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Fizzle. I stream pretty much every day there, uh, 10 or more hours usually. So, and we'll make that video. Peace out. See you guys. Thank you.